This is Walter Hollowell, part 15, Triumph TR6 race car engine rebuild. So as you can see, we have the pretty much finished long block off of the engine stand, but I don't need to put it into my race car now because the end of the sim there only has a few races on it. But I'll have this one as a backup. Now some of the people have been emailing me, my subscribers, and wanting part numbers. And one of the main part numbers they want is what I'm using for my Lighten flywheel. Well, I'm using the Lighten flywheel by Fidanza, and they wanted the part number, so here's your part number. <clears throat> now, there's other choices, and there's good choices. There's now stainless steel, Lighten flywheel, and all that stuff. Um, but these have worked for me, plus, they have an in a friction surface that can be changed out, which is a little hard, but you can do it. Um, they cost about $330. The cheapest I bought one new was $245, but usually they're a little over $300. And they work pretty well. Now when it comes time to run your engine, once it's broken in, uh, this is the oil that I like to use. It's Rotella 1540. And it has some zinc in it. And they have a lighter weight. I think it's a 1030. And that's what I like to use to break the engine in. And you may want to put some zinc additive. But this has some zinc in it. If you're using the, the ZR1 2050, which is a good oil, it has zinc in it. The 2050, uh, you're leaving horsepower on the table. Now, if your engine <clears throat> has quite a few miles on it, or the weather is extremely hot, maybe you do want to use the 2050. But if you can get by with the 1540, that's what I would recommend. Now, as I said, I'm not ready to put this engine, I don't need to, into my race car. But it's important that a finished engine, you don't want to rest on the oil pan on the ground because these iron blocks are very heavy and the weight of the engine will compress the oil pan gasket, the fiber gasket, with the seal and all that stuff. And then once you take it off the ground and put it into your car, possibly you're going to have oil leaks. So what I came up with a few years ago was this engine stand, and I have casters for it. It rolls around the garage very easily. I can roll it out of the way. I can even hang a transmission off the back end. Now that'll off balance it. It's going to tip. But you can still roll it around and then put it in um, a jack stand under the back of the output of the transmission so that it's more level. And these work pretty well. They bolt on to the motor mount casting holes. And like I said, you can roll it around the garage. You can do anything you want with it. They're easy to move. Furthermore, like a few years ago, I spent three weeks in California, Sonoma Raceway for a week, and then the following week was Laguna Seca. Well, I had no engine issues, but say I did. Say I'm, I have all, I'm a thousand miles from home, and I have all this money spent, and I'm just say I started hearing a rod knock or something. Well, this way I can roll this engine right into my enclosed trailer strap it to the wall, it's there if I need it. If I want to pull, drag the engine out of my race car, I can do that probably in an hour, hour and a half. Take this assembly, complete with the flywheel, pressure plate, clutch assembly, put it into the race car. You gotta rehang the carbs and the headers and stuff like that. But probably in four to six hours, you can have the old engine out, the new engine in, and you can, you, you can still race. So these engine stands are pretty nice. I'm, in, I'm doing another production run of them right now. Should be done in a week or 10 days. And if you're interested, you can email me or you can watch eBay Motors. I'll have some listed in a few days, probably a week. And I price them without casters because people think they can get the casters at a cheaper price, but I have a good price on these casters, which is an option. So I sell the stands without the casters, but if you want to add the casters to it, I can do that. Email me and I'll give you pricing. But it's a 
it's a good way it, it rolls around the garage it's just a good way to move your finished engine around when you're not ready to put it straight from your engine stand into your vehicle and that's about it for part 15 of the race car engine rebuild walter hollowell